What's up, y'all? Jared Sandler with you, getting ready for the Rangers and the White Sox. And I did some research on Joey Gallo. He's had a really uh, perplexing season, maybe, because, uh, you know, he's not totally slumping. It's tough to call a guy who's getting on base 45.5% of the time slumping, leading the majors in walks. But it's also odd to look at the back of Joey's baseball card and see that he has one extra base hit this year, and that came in the first series of the season and nothing since. And, you know, frankly, not a lot in the way of, uh, batted balls that were threatening for extra base hits that you know got taken away it's not like joey's been absolutely robbed and uh you know you look at his babbit batting average on balls in play it's 367 so even that number which sometimes can be an indication of whether a guy in a small sample is getting uh lucky or unlucky that number doesn't suggest that and so i don't know that there's one answer here as to why joey uh is not slugging like his usual self you know I don't know if this is the case. One way I've kind of reconciled it in my head is this is kind of Joey Gallo slumping. You know, this is Joey, uh, you know, not in, in peak form, like, you know, we've seen him in the past, but instead of like in past years where a slumping Joey Gallo is basically like a three or four pitch at bat and see you later, because he's striking out a ton and just, you know, really uh, a, a major black hole in the lineup. Uh, that's just not the case, you know, it, whether it's maturity, growth, just improvement or whatever the case is, uh, he's not in, in, in peak form, but he's still, you know, far from uh, a detriment. You know, a guy who uh, gets on base 45 percent of the time is a guy who 45 percent of the time doesn't cost you one of your precious three outs that you get each half inning. And so it's, it's a weird it's a weird balance. You know, if, if Joey carried on like this all year. You know, when he got on base, I mean, obviously, listen, if he gets on base 45% of the time, it's tough to call that a bad season. Uh, but even getting on base 45% of the time, his OPS is just barely above league average or what typically is a league average over the course of a full season. Tough to look at league averages just through April. Typically, offense is down in the month of April. Uh, so, you know, it, it, that's it's it's an odd thing to, to discuss. Uh you know, ultimately, I think the Rangers or any team would want a guy like Joey Gallo to produce more power, but you're also not hating on him for, for drawing walks. So I, I wanted to, to look, and like I said a second ago, there's not just one answer, but here's some of, here's some of my findings, okay? Uh, again, there is probably way more to this than what I can kind of detect from what I have access to. But, you know, I think let's start with this. Let's start with off-speed pitches. Joey's kind of got a weird relationship with off-speed pitches. Uh, because in 2019, for instance, which is what we consider to be his best year, he was horrible against off-speed pitches. Uh, last year, which was not a good year for him, he was fine against off-speed pitches. Didn't slug a ton, but hit 250 against them. So, and then in 2018, which uh, was a year in which, you know, he hit 206, and some people loved his year, other people, you know, loathed his year. Uh, 2018, he was dynamite against off-speed pitches. So there's, it's tough to take a relationship there, uh, but this year he's been really bad. You know, his, his one extra base hit did not come against an off-speed pitch, uh, and he's hitting 125. So that's one thing right there. But that's not atypical for a guy who's just not going well. So I wanted to get that out of the way because I don't know that there's really a whole lot there. What I really think, or at least for me, what stood out uh, is Joey against the fastball. So uh, I looked at Joey's slugging percentage his expected slugging percentage which takes the batted ball profile of you know joey against fastballs and and says that over a larger sample this is what it should be so you know in a small sample especially it can kind of indicate bad luck good luck what we talked about a second ago and then i looked at exit velocity which you might hate it you might like it but that's how hard you're hitting the ball uh in all three of those metrics Joey is performing worse than he ever has. And specifically in exit velocity, looking at 2017 and beyond, 2017 was the first year he was an everyday player. His exit velocity has been no lower than 94 and a half miles an hour against a fastball. And that 94 and a half came last year. Prior to that, never been below 95, uh, 95, nine, I should say. So essentially 96 this year so far, 89.6. He's just not hitting fastballs. Well, batting average, slugging expected slugging all lower uh, a stat that that you know a lot of front offices like to look at is woba weighted on base average and then expected woba x woba which is the same thing as expected slugging except for woba 
that that number, that figure is lower. I mean, it's across the board. Joey against the fastball has really, really struggled. Uh, and then it, you know, to kind of support all this, you know, I wanted to look at his barrel rates. All right, the 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 percentage of times Joey Gallo barrels a fastball, and and that is determined not by physically looking at the replay and seeing what part of the bat the ball hits, but looking again at the batted ball profile. There are thresholds that constitute a a, a well hit ball, a, a poorly hit ball, a barreled ball. So Joey against the fastball again, his his worst year. Uh, if you looked at 2017 through 2020 was 2020, which makes sense because that was his worst year among them just in general. Uh, his low output for barrel rate on fastballs, 10 and a half percent this year, 3.2%. So again, Joey is really struggling against the fastball. Uh, in general, Joey is whiffing at a higher percentage of off-speed pitches. Uh, his whiff rate there is, is much higher than it's ever been. And again, the off-speed production is not great, as we talked about. But to me, it's still all about the fastball. Uh, and then Joey's also, you know, as, as we know, he's hitting ground balls at a, a career high rate. Uh, Joey, coming into this year, uh, had a ground ball rate, uh, you know, on, on average uh, around 28%. This year, it's at 46.7%. His launch angle was always in the 20s. This year, it's 17.8%. And that's, that is, you know, strong towards ground balls because his line drive and fly ball launch angle is actually higher than it typically has been. So that means that the ground balls are really kind of weighting him down. Uh, so, you know, those are some things that, that really stand out. Uh, and, and as far as ground balls are concerned, breaking balls are giving him a lot of challenges there. His launch angle uh, against breaking balls is a two. That's basically saying that, you know, on average, he's hitting a ground ball every time he sees a, puts a breaking ball in play. Uh, he is hitting so, so few breaking balls in the air that his average launch angle on a breaking ball is a two. In the past, I'll just read you the numbers without needing any context, 20 uh, context. 20, 19, 16, 22, and then this year, two. And then commensurate to those numbers, the ground ball percentage against breaking balls this year, 81.8%. 81.8, he had never had higher than a 43, and his career average was right around 34. And this year so far, 81.8%. Uh, one other thing, Joey against cutters and sliders, and a lot of times those pitches can look the same. You know, a, a cutter for one pitcher is also a slider for another but his whiff rate against uh, cutters and sliders is, uh, is, is higher than it's ever been in his career. So that to me points like a Joey Gallo who's not going right, but is still getting on base 45% of the time. Now, is this just a continuation of last year's Joey who uh, had a really tough season hitting 181 with a sub 700 OPS? Or is this actually a much better, more mature version who's drawing walks at an all-time career rate but just isn't getting the same production from a slug standpoint. I guess we'll have to wait and see. It's a little bit on Joey Gallo. Talk to y'all later.